How are you all doing guys and welcome to today's public live stream. My name is Dukey86 and today I'm quickly going to run over some of the levels that I was trading from over the past week and also some of the levels that I'm looking for on Bitcoin next. Um, with that said, let's jump straight into it. So if we come over and have a quick look at Friday, I was sharing this chart on our public live stream. It's a quick clip of the levels that we were looking at on Bitcoin and this was from a daily live session within the Pro Traders Lounge. So kind of identifying early after after a big drop on Bitcoin, you do tend to it, Bitcoin loves triangles and it, it you do tend to get this sideways price action kind of putting in lower highs and higher lows. Um so with that said I was looking for price to come down into that the, the six six Fibonacci retracement level which lined up with a merged TPO value area low and also a fixed range low as well. Um, that was our first level that we were looking for but also I was leaving people know that we could come down as far as that 886. So if we go back over onto our chart and turn on those levels you can see we came down into that 66 and got a bounce of 6% that day. And here's our, our merge range TPO, where we came down into the value area low and made our way up to the point of control with a, with a quick rejection from that. Since then, price has just been grinding down, grinding down, grinding down. We took out that low, so there was no swing failure for us. There was no strength at this, so we're looking for the lower targets of the 786 or the 886. And we came into that region nicely with a great reaction. A lot of people... A lot of traders out there were looking for lower. They were looking for that swing failure of this low. But we actually came in onto a daily level with the 886, 786 region with a nice bounce to the upside of, let's see, nice bounce of roughly 8.5%. We came up, rejected off that trend line, back up, rejected off that trend line again, and now we're making our way back down. Okay, so... The next question is, what is next or what am I looking for next? So I was sharing this one earlier today within the Pro Traders Discord. Um, it's Let's zoom out a little. Okay, let's turn this off. Let's come out onto the daily chart. So if we take a look at this range that we put in from June up until where we are now. What we were looking at with inside the Discord was this TR pocket and for those of you that don't know what a TR pocket is I recommend coming into the Pro Traders Lounge and checking out that module it's definitely a very interesting one so that being said we were looking for price to come down and we had a target of the deviation levels of the TR pocket which we came down into nicely we got a bounce to the bounce up to the upside of sorry we got a bounce to the upside of 17% the initial reaction. Came back and back tested. Um, so what I'm also looking at is this is the USDT pair, by the way, on Bybit. But I'm, what I'm also looking at is on Coinbase, if you look at the BTC Euro pair, we still have not come down into that deviation region of the TR pocket. So for me, I would like to see that level taken on the Bitcoin pair, or sorry, on the Euro pair as well. So it would be nice to see you move down into that region for a reaction. When I see that, I will also be back onto the USDT pair to see what's happening there also. So that's kind of given me a slight bias of downside. Now, there is levels in between, but... This is just the kind of a, a mid time for, or I suppose the plan over the next week or, or, or so or, or the rest of this week is to keep an eye on the BTC pair and I'm looking down for that 15k region or better again the 14,700 that's euros and that's on the Coinbase pair so this is kind of giving me you know it would be nice to come down and test these levels to see what Bitcoin is going to do at these levels. Now if we come back to the USDT pair and we take off this and back on our levels from earlier. So I suppose on the USDT pair, what I would like to see is 
of a couple of levels. So I would like to see a swing failure of these lows now. Now I do know that there is nice support in here. If we merge this whole range on our TPO charts, if we merge this whole range, like we're coming into support now. Like, and until broken, this is support. So if we hold here, well then we can start to, if we get a nice reaction here, you know, we can start to look for a scalp long, but should we lose that level? I would be more confident in a swing failure of this low. Now, that doesn't have to happen, but that's what I'm waiting for. Should we come down here? Do we come down, take the liquidity, get that low on the euro pair, and then come back up within this range? If not, if we just break down, do we back test and make our way down? But the first level I'll be looking for is down here at, at the 15.452 level for a swing failure. And to the upside, I'll be looking for that naked point of control, which we have on our bid at. Let me just turn up this. Okay, so we have that naked point of control to the upside here. Coming in at roughly 17,300. Um, so there are, I suppose, the two levels locally that I'll be looking for. And again, I'm, I'm keeping a close eye on that euro pair to see what it's going to do. If it does come up and take the high first and back test this TR pocket, if it comes up and back test here, well, that would be nice because it would kind of run with us taking that naked point of control to the upside on the USDT pair. Should we come down? I look for the swing failure on the low there. So that's basically what I've been looking for um, on Bitcoin next. And I suppose let's see how that plays out. Uh, there's a lot of fud and a lot of bad news in the markets also at the minute. So as traders, I suppose you've got to try and block that out somewhat and, and don't leave that influence your trading. But um, yeah, try and, try and keep level headed with the charts over the next coming days, weeks, because I, I think we're going to get some interest in price action. Um, so what I also want to want to make you aware about is over at the Pro Traders Lounge, like we've got a jam-packed weekly uh, schedule. So if you look from Sundays, we've got our swinger sessions, Mondays, pre-market, pre-week market overview. We've got all kinds of sessions. Um, if we come down onto Wednesday, like you've, you've even got your lesson videos. So you've got your pro trader strategies also on your Wednesdays. And today we have the one and only Immy showing us his highly anticipated order block module, which we're all really, really looking forward to. So um, if you want to jump in on that session, which is 6 p.m. UTC, just come over to protraderslounge.com click to become a member um, tab and just sign up for a membership. If you don't want to sign up for a membership, you can always just come over and sit in the waiting room where we've got some great traders and members in there putting up some top quality um, TA and this is all for free. Uh, also, what I want to run over with you quickly before I sign off is our schedule of strategies and modules that we have so today we've got order order blocks with Emmy. next week with when sailing and net so we've got Atis intro and this one is probably one of the market's most highly anticipated um lessons and that's from the one and only yunez on his elliott waves on motive waves so again guys get over to protraderslounge.com if you want to be a part of that and that's it from me i'll check in again during the week and see how these levels played out and that's it take it easy goodbye